How fast can you do math in your head? That's the question with the penultimate wager. It's tough. It's the last clue of Double Jeopardy. About to go into final. You've got Alex leering at you, waiting for you to give him a number. You've got no pen and paper. It's a tough spot. And that's where Deborah finds herself in this situation. She's trailing Clay by 800. And probably the first rule of penultimate wager is you want to be in first place to get it right. See here, she's got the wager at least 800. So we'll put her at at least 800. Now, the question you want to ask yourself is, if I get this wrong, how do I best position myself for Final Jeopardy? And the best way to do that is to find a wager to tie situation that works. Let's start, let's just go through a few. Let's start with the two player situations against Clay. One half, two thirds, three quarters. Half of Clay's score is 4,900, but that's going to be less than Nancy, so you don't want to end up in third, unless you really have to. How about two-thirds? Well, Clay has 9,800. That's not divisible by three. You can tell that because you add digits together and you get 17, and 17 is not divisible by three. It's a good trick. What about three-quarters? Well, half of Clay's score is 4,900. Another half of that is going to be 2,450. So you add those together, that's 7,350. Could do that. So 1650 might be one. All right. That's pretty tough to do in your head that quickly. And three quarters isn't that reliable of a wager to tie situation anyway, because both players have two different ranges. What about our three player scenarios? Well, let's remember what they are. Evenly spaced scores and first equals second plus third. Evenly spaced scores, the difference between these two is 3,600. Split that in half, so you add 1,800 to Nancy's score and get 8,000, or you subtract 1,800 from Clay's score and get 8,000. So, to get 8,000, Deborah would have to wager 1,000. Both of those meet this criterion of getting at least 800 to take the lead if she's right. And then for first equals second plus third, Clay has 9,800, Nancy has 6,200, remember the difference is 3,600, so Deborah would have to wager so that she's wrong, she'll have 3,600 which might be viable. Let's see, 5,400. Which means if she gets it right, she'll have 14,400. I'm gonna put this over here for now. So I wanna see hypothetically what would happen if she had 14,400 in Final Jeopardy. The difference between these two is 4,600. That's less than Nancy has. Therefore, Nancy can still catch them. You might want to go for this very risky wager if you feel comfortable in the category, and you have the possibility of locking out the third place player. That way, you only have to deal with one player in Final Jeopardy, and you really increase your chances of winning should you get it wrong from the lead. But, you know, Deborah did the most important thing, which was wagering to take the lead. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for her, but that's the kind of play I like to see. And I hope to see more of it. And of course, I'm gonna take it apart on the final wager.